Ever wondered how a squirming maggot transforms into a buzzing fly? It's one of nature's most intriguing phenomena. This transformation, known as metamorphosis, is a complex biological process that has fascinated scientists for centuries. It's a journey of growth, change, and adaptation, where a creature morphs from one form into a completely different one. It's like a caterpillar turning into a butterfly. But today, we're delving into the world of flies. Well, buckle up, because we're about to unravel this mystery. The journey begins in a simple egg, laid by a female fly. This momentous event in the life cycle of a fly is often overlooked, yet it is where life commences for these creatures. The female fly is picky about where she deposits her eggs, often choosing decomposing organic material like a pile of rotting fruit or a discarded piece of meat. Inside these minuscule eggs, which are about the size of a grain of salt, something remarkable happens. The eggs are not just dormant vessels, they are teeming with life. The process of cell division begins almost immediately after the egg is laid. In just about 24 hours, the first signs of life emerge, tiny wriggling larvae. These larvae or maggots as they are more commonly known, are not much to look at. They are small, legless and white, with a body that tapers towards the tail end. But don't let their unassuming appearance fool you, they are voracious eaters consuming everything in sight. This high-energy diet is crucial as it fuels their rapid growth. In just a few days these tiny creatures will increase their size almost 200 times. This rapid growth requires them to shed their skin or molt several times. Each molt signifies a new instar, or growth stage. There are typically three instars in the life of a fly larva, each one bigger and hungrier than the last. The larvae's primary job during this stage is to eat and grow, preparing for the next phase of their lives. They are equipped with a pair of sharp mouth hooks that they use to tear into their food. They also have a spiracle or breathing hole at their tail end, allowing them to breathe while submerged in their food source. The larvae, which we commonly know as maggots, are just at the beginning of their transformative journey. Stay tuned as we delve into the next stage of metamorphosis, where these wriggling larvae transform into something entirely different. In this stage, the maggot's main job is to eat and grow. Welcome to the larval stage, a critical chapter in the life of a fly. The term maggot may not sound appealing, but it's an essential part of the life cycle of flies. It's during this stage that these little creatures prepare themselves for the remarkable transformation that lies ahead. Let's delve into the details. The life of a maggot is pretty straightforward. Once they hatch from their eggs, these larvae are driven by a single objective, to consume as much as they can. They're not picky eaters either. Maggots can be found feasting on a variety of organic materials, including decaying vegetation, compost, and even carrion. This voracious appetite serves a critical role in the environment, breaking down organic matter and recycling nutrients back into the ecosystem. So how do maggots grow? As they eat, they absorb nutrients that fuel their growth. A maggot will grow rapidly, increasing in size several times over in just a matter of days. This rapid growth is facilitated by the maggot's soft, flexible body which allows it to expand as it eats. However, it's not all about eating and growing. During the larval stage, a maggot will also shed its skin or molt multiple times. Each molting stage, known as an instar, sees the maggot grow larger and more developed. By the time the maggot reaches the third instar, it has grown considerably and is ready to move on to the next stage of its life cycle. Interestingly, Maggots have a built-in mechanism that tells them when they've eaten enough and it's time to stop. This is crucial because once a maggot has reached its full size, it's ready to transition into the pupil stage. During this stage, the maggot will stop eating, find a safe and secure location, and start the process of metamorphosis. Once they've eaten their fill and grown enough, they're ready for the next step, the pupil stage. The larval stage, though short, sets the foundation for the incredible transformation that is about to unfold. A maggot's journey from a tiny, wriggling larva to a fully formed fly is truly one of nature's most astounding spectacles. The maggot now enters a phase of rest but don't be fooled, there's a lot happening inside. This is the pupil stage, a time of profound transformation and growth. For the untrained eye, it may seem as if our little maggot, has simply decided to take a long nap, but in reality it's undergoing one of nature's most incredible processes. It's like the quiet before a storm, an anticipation of the dramatic change about to unfold. Inside the pupil case, the maggot's soft, squishy body starts to harden, forming a protective shell. 
This shell is the puparium, a temporary home where the maggot will metamorphosize into an adult fly. Here, the maggot is safe from predators and harsh environmental conditions, allowing it to focus completely on its transformation. The maggot's body begins to dissolve, breaking down into a soup of cells and proteins. This may sound a bit gory, but it's a necessary step in the process. These raw materials will be used to construct the body of the adult fly. While the maggot's body is breaking down, special groups of cells known as imaginal discs start their work. These discs were present in the maggot from the moment it hatched from the egg but have remained dormant until now. Each disc will develop into a specific part of the adult fly such as the wings, legs, or eyes. It's an intricate and highly organized process, like a construction team building a skyscraper from the ground up. As the transformation nears its conclusion, the fly's features begin to take shape within the puparium. The wings, legs, and compound eyes form, and the once soft and squishy maggot takes on the familiar shape of a fly. This transformation doesn't happen overnight. Depending on the species and the environmental conditions, the pupil stage can last anywhere from a few days to several weeks. But once the transformation is complete, the fly is ready to emerge. Now the maggot is ready to shed its old skin and embrace its new form. Finally, the moment of transformation arrives. The pupa cracks open and a fly emerges. This moment is truly a spectacle of nature. The fly, having completed its metamorphosis, breaks free from its pupal casing, marking the end of its journey from a tiny egg to a fully developed insect. This process, known as eclosion, is where the adult fly escapes its pupal shell, a shell that has been its world during the transformative stage of its life. As the fly emerges, it faces a whole new world filled with challenges and opportunities, it's wet and vulnerable, its wings crumpled and soft. But nature has equipped it with everything it needs to survive. The fly's body rapidly absorbs oxygen, causing its tissues to harden and darken. This is a process called sclerotization. Now let's talk about the wings. They're a crucial part of the fly's arsenal, granting it the freedom of flight. But at the moment of birth, they're nothing more than tiny crumpled appendages. To inflate them, the fly pumps hemolymph, a fluid equivalent to our blood, into the veins of its wings. As they fill with hemolymph, the wings expand and harden, preparing the fly for its first flight. But before it can take to the air, the fly must first rest and allow its body to harden completely. This period, known as the tenoral stage, is a vulnerable time for the fly. It must find a safe place to hide from predators while its body completes the final stages of hardening. Once the tenoral stage is over, the fly is ready to take on the world. It's ready to fly, to feed, and ultimately to reproduce and continue the cycle of life. It's a marvel of nature, a testament to the resilience and adaptability of life on Earth. And there you have it, a fully developed fly ready to buzz around. So, to sum it all up, the metamorphosis of a fly is a journey that begins with a tiny egg, often laid in decaying organic matter. This egg then hatches into a larva, commonly known as a maggot. The maggot is an eating machine, gorging on its surroundings as it prepares for the next stage of its life. The larval stage is marked by three molts, each molt signifying a growth spurt. This period in the maggot's life is all about consuming nutrients and growing, once the maggot has grown sufficiently and completed its third molting, it enters the pupal stage. The pupal stage is a time of transformation. Encased in a hard shell, the maggot begins to change. Its body dissolves and reforms into the structure of a fly. This process is nothing short of a miracle, as the maggot literally rebuilds itself from scratch into a completely different creature. Finally, the adult fly emerges from the pupal case. Its wings are initially crumpled, but they soon expand and harden ready for flight. The fly is now ready to start the cycle all over again, laying its own eggs and continuing the cycle of life. And that's the fascinating journey of a maggot transforming into a fly through the process of metamorphosis.